Okay, then let's bust Tom Dog. And today I'm here with Klaus. <laughs> and we're gonna be working on his distracted down stay. Now Klaus has been doing really good with all the progress that he's made here so far, but we're gonna start adding some real world scenarios into his training. Now Klaus lives in a home with small children, and so today we want to work on his down stay and just leave it at the same time. So what I'm gonna do, Klaus, down, yes. I'm gonna treat in an underhand position, stay. And now I'm going to start dropping objects. So I'm going to start with this bone, and then I'm going to go to the food. So Klaus, leave it. Yes. And leave it. Stay. Leave it and stay are one of the few commands we are actually allowed to repeat as many times as we need. I'm going to go ahead and pop another tree. Stay. Klaus, leave it. Now I'm going to start tossing food. Yes, good boy. And after each distraction, stay. I'm giving him an award. I'm giving him a reward and reminding him of that stay. Klaus, leave it. Yes, good boy. Stay. Yeah. Stay. Now I'm gonna pick up the bone because just as important as the down stay is having time so you can pick up the bone. Or whatever you're trying to pick up. Klaus, leave it. Yes, good boy. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up, release him, and then we'll do that one more time. Okay. So you see, now he's free to get up and eat the treats or whatever else he wants to grab. Plus, I'm going to do that one more time. Hey! Down. Yes. Stay. Plus, leave it. Yes, good boy. Stay. We're going to do it a couple times with food before we wrap up. Klaus, leave it. Yes, good boy. Stay. One more. Klaus, leave it. Yes, good boy. Tap on the head to release. Okay. And that was very nice from Klaus. Very happy with today's practice. The next step would be to add even more distractions. But for today, great job with this downstay. Good job, buddy.